Hi guys, uh, Gigi again with a new video. Uh, what we got here today, it's a new uh, ECU. This is from a Citroen C5. Uh, it was bought online, uh, and what we want to do is to uh, read it and uh, remove the immobilizer so in order to to do this we will have first to open the unit uh, the unit has four screws i have never opened one of these before uh, this is the first time let's see if we can manage and what we are going to do it's uh, i'm trying to I will read it with both uh, Galetto and uh, K-Tag. It's a Magneti Marelli, Italian, at least after the name. Uh, let me fetch a screwdriver. You can see there is a lot of silicone. Almost, almost done. And here it is seems to be quite a simple one and this is the chip we will have to read let's see try again focus I'll try to start to flash maybe this one now uh, we will take a look at the diagram and see how uh, this is connected uh, in this case uh, we are going to use the k tag for for the schematics and let's see here we go to c trend c trend it's a c5 to magneti marelli ERW six LP and let's see you want to connect with the let's see the first version it's like ours and let's see the second connection uh, how is that one it's the same yeah, I think we have um, the first version. Yeah, uh, we have the one with the condensator here. So uh, we'll check this one and set the right connection. And we will have a boot pin. I will show it to you when uh, we get there. It's quite visible, so I'm back. It looks like um, Keta has the whole thing a little bit upside down because the ECU family we have to choose is the 46 and not 45, and we have um, the correct ECU here. Um, this is exactly like our uh, our ECU. And we have the boot pin that looks very much like uh, the one we have here. I will show it to you in a second. And we can connect via CAN protocol or via K line. So, what I found out was that uh, this uh, PCB it's actually a type B, like uh, described in the Galeto. Uh, STF uh, 
uh, document and I have uh, connected it like this accordingly B1 K line M1 ground and L4 12 volts so this uh, in K tag seems to be a little bit uh, wrong so if we go to uh, the STF and we choose family 46 let's see and we take the direct connection echo connection instructions the board looks like this exactly like this one and I try to connect the K lines it doesn't work and uh, I go to, uh, to the uh, I try to connect the can high uh, can low protocols uh, can protocol it doesn't work I cannot read it with the uh, CAM protocols, so I put it on the K line like described here. So I have the positioning frame here and the boot pin. It's let me show you. You can actually see it in the photo. It's this one here. This is my boot pin. I'm using a probe with two pins, but I will only use uh, one of them. I can actually position this in different ways, but let's put these screws aside. Let's lower it. The grey wire with the alligator for the boot pin and we do it here that's it now I'm going to connect uh, the cable to the K tag we will need some, some power uh, what they, I eventually found out it's that uh, this uh, ECU has a uh, uh, main board uh, as a the one uh, described in protocol 46 uh, but the actual uh, read and write protocol uh, are the ones used in protocol 45 so in order to to read this uh, you need to connect the ECU like described in uh, in uh, protocol 46 via K line and you will have to um, use protocol 45 uh, to read and write now i selected protocol 46 now i go okay and i will try to to read it And it will tell me go select protocol 45 because protocol 46 doesn't work for you. So I will go and select protocol 45. Say okay, I know my connection is okay now. And I will just say read. And let's see what happens. Reading device information. And now we can actually read the microchip. We can see the software version here. And we are going to, to read. Forty four percent. 45 percent it's going slowly but steady 25 26 we are going to finish this now here protocol reading complete and we will put it I prepared a folder for it and 
I will get the file name also. Yes, but it's only one file, so I cannot save it separately. Well, uh, we've done the reading. Uh, I will connect the other ECU now, uh, and uh, then I will uh, I will write the software into the other one. So now I connected the ECU uh, in boot mode for Galeto, but I kept the boot pin uh, showed in uh, K tag. And let's see if it's working with that because Galeto say uh, we need to connect some resistor and solder and something like that, and I don't want to solder and put stuff like that. So let's see, I select the, select the driver, uh, tools, boot mode, STF uh, 10FXX. And it's at 280 in boot mode. Say OK and say echo. And be sure to put exactly like you. Blah, blah, blah. So it's uh, done. And let's try to read the file. And we go. Say Ori <clears throat> and it's a go. You can see this goes actually much more faster than the K tag. So yeah, I would uh, recommend using a little for for this uh, ECU. So we are almost uh, almost done. One minute and fifty. End of the read. Turn off the, the dashboard. Let's see. File size. It's the same. This is one file, and uh, uh, the K tag uh, made a five and twelve. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, um, this is now done, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.